Welcome You're to Cigar right Time. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I didn't fall for that. Yeah, but Larry made it sound That really was good. so funny. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, so I didn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what you guys can't disguise it. So, That's uh, pretty funny. Okay, Scott, kind of, you run the show. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I did that once already. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the amount of people that called in and were tuning out. I would do it, that but I, I don't have... That was actually the smoothest <coughs> running for episode I don't have a did. clock in front of me, so I... <laughs> it's, uh, it's March 10th. It the, is. The uh, Phillies have already been in spring training for a number of weeks. Really? Oh, I thought I, they were uh, out of it already. I think... That comes soon. Is still time to order your World Series tickets? Yes. And... Uh, what else are we doing? I don't know. Scott's okay. still bleeding? Scott's still bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> still bleeding. No, you're worse than a woman. We're, we're now a month in. <laughs> Get him off That's the inappropriate. Show. That's totally inappropriate. Inappropriate. I love it. It, it is I love not. It. it is not. <laughs> okay, today your uh, friendly weekly TV show called Cigar Time. That is what it's called. Uh, Paul's, uh, you got to get to going. Paul's chopping oh, the I think I'll just... Oh, 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 oh torture. <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> Today's show is brought to you by the J.C. Newman Company, the makers of many fine lines of cigars, including Brickhouse, Diamond Crown, Julius Caesar, Maximus, Pearl Del Mar, Brickhouse, and many, many others. Alcazar. 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 Seltzer. Anyway, Seltzer? today we're featuring the Pearl Del Mar. And the mm -hmm. lovely Miss T is going to tell you all about it. I'd just like to say you do that very nicely. You could totally tell you were the info king. Yes. Yeah. He was a what? He was the info oh, king. I already cut this. Yeah, but I never, I never did my own shows. <laughs> he was the king of fa. All right. Uh, <laughs> he was the fa king. <laughs> fa. I thought that was fo. That was cute. Good. <laughs> that was okay. good. Um, we're doing the Perla del Mar. The wrapper is an Ecuadorian <laughs> Connecticut, and <sighs> the filler and binder are both Nicaraguan. So it's not a Nicaraguan puro. Nicaraguan. The Ecuadorian in there. We have some really uh, number sizes here. Did, she, did you do that on purpose? Uh, Ecuadorian? I think she started did to I say really? something and then got caught. And just it's Ecuadorian. No, you did Honduran. No, we had no, Ecuadorian is correct. I, think, I know. I know. I they just always want to prove Stop me wrong. Stop giving her a hard time. We got a six no. and a quarter by 54, a four and three fourths by 52, a three three fourths by 56, and a gordo six by 60. Three fourths is usually described as three quarters. Mm -hmm. Uh, you might want to note that these are six and a quarter, not a quarter. A rigidly box pressed cigar. This is a gorgeous rigidly box pressed cigar. You know what you haven't been talking about? The, the band. band. I was going to say the this band. band is. Well, this band is gorgeous. The last couple bands. Yeah. 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 The taste yeah. profile is caramel wood. There goes that wood. Whoa. And spice. Yeah, Art, your wood's coming up. Um. <laughs> I've had this cigar many times, <laughs> and I just want to say I really this cigar is true to its flavor profile. So I just want to say that there, there's a definite special place for her at the home. <laughs> you both say you could make me up if you could if you tried. No, we could. Yeah, that's for sure. We couldn't invent or you if we to. tried. A lot Luckily, of they let her out once or twice a week. <laughs> Tuesday night. <laughs> On good behavior, by the way. Oh my God. I'm a bad girl. Well, luckily you're not wearing an ankle brace if they could see it. <laughs> One of us is, though. Not me. Hey, the real? I am. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> well, the real. <laughs> I'm, I'm not flashing my ankle for anybody. I didn't say it was. And nice ankles they are, Paul. Yes. Thank you. Just want to remind everybody. <laughs> the exploded veins look really good. Just we want to remind everybody, uh, ccigars.com, that's your favorite website to find out all about our events, our max packs, our special offers. Howdy you can also see this show not only on the station you're watching it, but you can see repeats and everything on our YouTube channels, on Facebook. Can you get it on Facebook? You even get yeah. our radio shows. You can even get our old oh, radio shows. They're like antiques that. now. I remember you told me you listened to it like a couple weeks ago. You were oh, like, my oh my God. I listened to the first <laughs> one. <laughs> oh my God. Brutal. Horrible. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> Oh. That was like 15 years ago. I gotta ago. listen to uh, it. It's absolutely listen. brilliant. Actually, on our website, we, we have a new feature, which is we actually have all of a whole calendar with all our events on it. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's a real easy way to uh, find And that, find again, out. is ccigars.com. And uh, we appreciate your business. 
We appreciate you supporting us, but we also remind you, as we always do, please support your local brick and mortar stores. Uh, starting the backbone to, of the business. Yeah, the winter is starting to kind of ebb away, but still in all, they provide a nice, hospitable place to hang out with your friends and business acquaintances and enjoy a fine cigar in a fairly healthy environment. Some um, places have Netflix. <laughs> and make fun of each other. A <laughs> fairly healthy environment. <laughs> Well, if you like smoke, it's a very healthy environment. We've got Netflix. <laughs> we have Netflix. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, I should have said that. It could be a sponsor. Well, look what cool Rob one. has. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob. <bro. laughs> I have nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Reference to last week's last show. Week's episode, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I think we should talk about this cigar. Nice idea. Well, just because. You start. Me? Yeah. It's your favorite rapper. I really like this cigar. Um, it's it combines two things that I really like that are usually not together. Yeah, fire and tobacco. No, well, those are usually <laughs> together, and I like them. Um, peanut butter and it's, chocolate. No, it's it's got the peanut body and yeah. oomph of a good Nicaraguan <laughs> filler, but the smoothness of a Connecticut wrapper. In this case, my favorite kind, an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Wonder why. But that combination is great. Usually you think of a, of a cigar with a wrapper this light and you expect it to be a light cigar, a very light flavored cigar. And this has got some real depth and character. Yeah, that's because of the Nicaragua tobacco. Not because yes. of Not the Ecuador. Ecuador. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Scott? Um, initial impressions, a lot more flavorful than I had remembered. And I'm, I'm surprised how much spice I'm getting from it. Mm -hmm. um, especially like at the, the top and the back of my throat. But it's like, not for a harsh such, spice. It, no, no, not at all. No, not no. All. It's like no. A, it's like a sweet more, spice. I think we smoke. Well, let him say I, it. I think originally. No, I just want to remind him of something that he may have forgotten because you know, without any grass on top of the Samson. mountain there, it, it, some of the brain cells escape. Wow. You may have forgotten when we first smoked these cigars, they weren't even out yet. We smoked like pre-production models. Yeah. Wow. That's and they were right. a little rough. They were a little rough. That's these right. are a lot smoother. They have they're, yes, they're yes, it's, it's yeah. flavorful. creamy, mm -hmm. yet they're still mm -hmm. and, and as smooth as it is. There's still a little bit of, um, of spice on it, which is yep. yeah. very, very enjoyable. It's very flavorful. Mm -hmm. It's not peppery spice no. either. It's more like baking spice. I don't like an all spice kind of. I'm not. Baking I can't. Spice? No. It's definitely not like old spice. It's. No. I think I would actually say a little bit, a touch of like a white pepper. Just a little, I would like say a little I would say more white bit. pepper than black pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob, would you stop? Mm -hmm. uh, this T actually said this correctly. This stays true to the taste profile. I'm getting caramel yeah. through the retrohale. I'm getting the spice, and, and I'm definitely. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say. Where are you getting the say. wood from? You're I'm getting wood. <laughs> I, are we going to have to I just start? Fell, like, I fell right into that. Are we going to have to like have a grading system? One wood, two woods, three woods, four woods? <laughs> no. Is there a five wood or is it just go to three I, wood? No, I don't you, use a five wood. Then you get into the iron. Wood. Three wood? Uh, the lovely Miss T. Oh, yeah, I agree with, um, well, of course, Rob. Um, caramel, you get the wood and you get the spice. The spice to me is like a cinnamon type spice. Like, because you know how, yeah, it's cinnamony or maybe like a pepperminy kind of. It's some kind of sweet. But yet, maybe spearmint. Spearmint. No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I can't believe she but just brought it with her. I could have said anything. You I could have said like Aquamint. <laughs> yeah, Aquamint. Aquaman. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh. it, it's, it, it's a spice. It's not like a pepper kind of spice, though. So. I say a cinnamon spice. Uh. And I'm sure the audience That's will what scary agree. spice. Well, That's the agree. kind of thing but, I meant when I said yeah, baking but, spices. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking. This is what I'm talking about. When you have a well balanced cigar, you're getting a little spice. You're getting a little, you know, wood. <laughs> you're getting your, and you're getting, you know, it's sweet and it's creamy, and it has all, like you said, it's very in depth. So, so I smoking like this cigar guarantees you get wood. What do you oh, think? You I want to say what that. That's really good. So look at this cigar. I guarantee you. Well, okay, Rob. What do these cigars retail for? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, that expensive. Starts very, no, 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 this this is starts, very this reasonable. Is inexpensive. This, Four ninety-five. This oh, one here that we're exactly. smoking is um, five twenty. 
There's a shorter size than this, which is 480. Oh, 480. Yeah, yeah. it's 480. Okay, right. And then the uh, the Toro size is, uh, I believe, 585. So it's very, very reasonably, reasonably priced. priced. Yeah. So, well, again, the uh, the know, Newmans have good. come up yeah. with a very it's fine cigar. cigar at really a is. very, very affordable price. Yeah. And I tend to agree, you know, I'm getting a nice spice in the back of the throat. I'm getting, I, I get the caramel. I'm sorry, I don't get the mint. Uh, for the price, it's really hard to beat it. It's kind of really And it's a nice looking band. Nice aroma to it, too. Yeah. yeah. It does. Again, as a hallmark of all J.C. Newman cigars, it draws like a dream. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say. That's so important. In a box press cigar, yeah. you mm -hmm. expect yeah. the L possibility of some yeah. burn yeah. issues yep. and yep. some dry issues. Not so with this one at all. Yeah. I mean, you barely have to suck. It's easy to hold on. Uh, Boy, no one picked uh, up on that, did they? Yeah, I picked up on. I'm trying to no, keep that, a straight yeah, face. You know what? It's got to be natural. You can't. That's like T-ball right there. It's just, yeah. You yeah. can't. Just right try, out of the when park. you try and set it up, it's just not Bing natural. Bing right out it's of the park. It's not what we're all about, T. Wow. It's not what we're all about here. Okay? Wow. Yeah, we're not T-balling here. And this here. is a professional show <laughs> done by some of us it's professionals. Same, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who've been in the business a long time and, you know, yeah. which that really know which end of the cigar to light. They knew me when I was a baby. I mean, <laughs> yet younger, like 24. <laughs> I have now grown, right? What, whatever it is, you're either drinking or taking. Yeah. Say something. <laughs> for us. Say, I want to be that happy too. <laughs> Yeah, we should go. To I think. I, yeah, I think let's let's cut away, and uh, we're going to hear a few minutes from Bobby Newman. He and he and Eric, his brother, run the company, and. Uh, Great guys. They're great people. Great Bobby, guys. thank you, Art, for giving us this opportunity to be on your show. My name is Eric Newman. I'm president of the J.C. Newman Cigar Company in Tampa. In 1888, Grandpa J.C. came with his four brothers and two sisters and his parents in search of the American dream. He founded in Cleveland, Ohio. His brothers became tailors like so many immigrants of, the, of that day. But Grandpa J.C. didn't want to make clothes, so his mother, my great-grandmother paid a cigar maker $3 a month to teach her son, Julius, to make cigars. Grandpa J.C. became a great cigar apprentice in 1890. Then he went in business for himself in 1895. And at that time, there are 42,000 licensed cigar manufacturers. And today, of those 42,000 cigar manufacturers, they're making cigars in 1895. We're the only one that's still owned and operated by the founding family. This is our 120th year in business, something we're very proud of. But going back to the Diamond Crown story, I guess give my father credit, Stanford Newman. Dad was second generation cigar manufacturer. In the early 90s, Dad approached our partners in the Dominican Republic, the Carlos Fuente family, about making a special cigar to celebrate and commemorate our upcoming 100th anniversary at that time, the early 90s, the biggest, thickest cigar was a 52 ring. Dad said, I want a 54 ring, because Dad knew that the thicker the cigar, the more leaves you can blend to maintain the continuity of taste and get more flavor. So Dad approached Carlos about making a 54 ring cigar, and Dad and Carlos said, we don't have molds, nobody makes a 54 ring cigar. Dad said, I want to. I want to make a 54 ring. The wrapper on Diamond Crown is very special. Back in those days, all tobacco, goes through a single fermentation. But Dad said, I want a second fermentation. So after the Connecticut shade is bulked, put in bales again, goes through a second fermentation, which gives Diamond Crown its very special, unique, rosado, flavorful wrapper. The cigar itself is made by Carlos Fuentes' best cigar makers. Most cigar makers around the world are paid on production. The more cigars you make, the more money you make. But Carlos has a few of his cigar makers, like to make the Opus X. Their incentive is to make the best cigars rather than the most cigars. So, so those are the cigar rollers that were selected to make Diamond Crown. We launched Diamond Crown in, in 1995, got a 93 rating by Scar Aficionado, and it became an instant hit. This was the middle of the cigar boom. People were looking for something really special and Diamond Crown was about as special as you can get, especially at that time. In late 18, sorry, late 1990s, maybe 2000, we got a whole breed of cigar smokers came in the market during the cigar boom. They want a fuller flavored cigar. So they approached us about, we love Diamond Crown, 
can you make a stronger diamond crown, more flavorful, heavier? And we came out and launched Diamond Crown Maximus. Diamond Crown Maximus features a Havana Seed Ecuador wrapper. Looks like Maduro cigar, but it's not. It's natural, but it's dark because it comes from the top of the plant, the richer, heavier leaves, to give Diamond Crown Maximus its fuller flavor. Then in 2010, to commemorate my grandfather's 135th birthday, we introduced Diamond Crown Jewish Caesar, medium flavor in Ecuador Havana seed wrapper, got a lot of taste, a lot of flavor, but it fits right in there. So we have three Diamond Crown cigars to satisfy every taste profile. Let me tell you about the promotion we're doing with Diamond Crown with Cigar Cigar this year. You buy any three Diamond Crown, Diamond Crown Classic, Diamond Crown Maximus, Diamond Crown Julius Caesar, and you get this Diamond Crown Chief Copper Penny. Everyone is individually hand-painted. You put your business cards there. You can put anything for your office. Very, very unique. For only three cigars, you get Chief Copper Penny. You buy a box, not only to get your Chief Copper Penny, but you would get one of our Diamond Crown wall plaques. They're beautiful. You get a choice of Diamond Crown, Maximus, or Julius Caesar. No man cave should be without it. We're delighted that our, has three of our Diamond Crown lounges. So we invite you, come in, wintertime, summertime, anytime into your local Cigar Cigar, especially the Diamond Crown Cigar Lounge, and enjoy, enjoy a Diamond Crown Classic, Diamond Crown Maximus, or Diamond Crown Julius Caesar. That's it for me. Back to you, Art. Thanks, Bobby. That was very enlightening. Thanks, and thanks, Bobby. thanks, Bobby. thanks, thanks for the nice words. Oh, you're right too, Bobby. She is a riot. She is a riot. <laughs> Okay, what are, we do, what, are, what are we doing next again? I'm kind oh, of lost. Oh, I'm, I'm going to talk oh, about an adventure in Ecuador. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. i got to hear this joke. This is good. <laughs> joke? So, it's not a joke. I know. So, <laughs> these things aren't funny, Rob. The, this is going to be a real long story. Uh, you tell me how long you want it to be. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> My partner in Ecuador is in, involved in a lot of businesses. I'll bet. Uh, and one of his biggest businesses is he you, trades. Are you allowed to talk about that? Yes. Okay. He trades in wood futures. And wood what? Futures. Wood futures. Plywood. And and like one day tonight? one day he called me up. What? Like, like tonight? Yeah. One day he, <laughs> he called me up and he said, uh, I'm heading out into my jungle. And I said, what do you mean your jungle? And he said, well, I decided instead of being in the futures, I wanted to actually own the wood. So I made a deal with the government. <laughs> and bought 600,000 acres of rainforest. Oh, wow. a small. You can really do that? In, in Ecuador, Ecuador, you can. can. Oh. Yeah. So he was going off into his jungle to look for some <laughs> wood that he could cut for, for sale. Oh, that hurts. So I went down and we flew out together. We actually choppered into the middle of the rainforest and landed in the area where the lumber camp was going to be set up. And we, we, it was like going on safari. We were in tents. There was, you know, we had, we had. Shouldn't, shouldn't he have figured out if there was wood to sell before well, he, he bought the place? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh my gosh, it's, it's the Amazon. Way. He knew there was going to be. Uh, okay, so there's definitely good wood there. Yes. <laughs> so we stop. She's laughing. I, I'm going deaf in the sight. I'm going deaf, but I'm one person removed. And that's your good ear. And that's my good ear. So. We're sitting around the campfire the first night at the, at the lumber camp, and a couple of Indians we came out of the it. woods, and one of them was the Don't head, mention that W word anymore. The, the uh, poor. Came out of the forest, came out of the jungle, <laughs> and he was the head man of the local village. The head and <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. No. Um, oh. And... and <laughs> <laughs> he started. He started speaking with us, and he had. <coughs> these are Indians that live in the in the jungle. Thank you. And um, he said that he had heard of money, and he wanted to know how to get some. <laughs> and did we want to buy anything from him and his village? And my partner asked him, "Well, what do you have to sell?" Oh, I can't wait to hear this. So he talks with his other Indians, and they go back into the forest, and they come back a little while later with this clay jug of liquid. 
Okay. And my partner asked him, so what's this? And he said, well, we, we, we make this stuff and we put it on darts and we shoot monkeys out of the trees with blowguns. And this stuff paralyzes the monkey. Well, he didn't say paralyzed, but it, it makes the monkey seem dead. And it falls out of the tree, and then we eat the monkey. Okay. Nice. What they do with the monkey? So my partner said to him, I'll tell you what. I'll give you $25 for the jug. And it was dollars because in Ecuador they use American yeah. money. Oh, okay. They don't have their own currency. So for $25, we got a jug. We didn't know what it was. When we were done with our visit to the jungle, we flew back into the city, and he gave it to a chemist and said, well, what is this stuff anyway? The guy did some analysis, and he said, well, it's a, it's a natural paralytic. It's called curare. In its clinical form, it's used during heart surgery. It paralyzes your heart so it won't beat while they're operating on your heart. And in its purest form, it's worth about $40,000 per liter, which he bought for 25 bucks. Oh, my God. So he immediately dispatched the helicopter back to the village to set up a contract to keep buying jugs of this stuff. And so now he's in the pharmaceutical curare wow. business. Wow. Wow. That's a great name for with, a cigar. With a curare? nice markup, too. Yeah. I'll yeah. bet. Thank wow. Do you still doing this? Monkey. Yeah, that's how you make money in Ecuador. Monkey juice. Wow. The one thing that we did while we were there that's kind of hard to say on the show, you might as well. I had to stop there's laughing. a there's a, a it's not really beer, but it's a fermented beverage that they drink in the Amazon. And part of the fermentation process is the oldest woman in the village has to chew on cornmeal and spit in it. And there's something in that the enzymes that result from that that dramatically affect the flavor of this beverage and supposedly it also gives you hallucinations. Cool. It just so happens these are the mugs they put it in. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of mugs, speaking I think, of mugs, it, I think yeah, it's time. Uh, it's time to. Uh, was, was that story over? No. Sorry. Well, it's over going. now. It's so. <laughs> people it who people who know this stuff know it by which grandma in what village spits in it because some grandma's spit is better than others, uh, and and that's they're true, very that they're very, very serious true. about it. What do you mean that's true? Some is different than others. Some How do you is know? better than others. How do you know? <laughs> She's, she must She's, have been drinking some of it. Yeah. This show should come with a warning. <laughs> oh, my God. Scott's going to tell you about our next two-week special offer from J.C. Newman. Scott, take it away. Well, for the rest of this week, if you buy any three J.C. Newman cigars, which are the Pearl Del Mar, the Brick House, the Julius Caesar, Maximus, and the Diamond okay. Crown, you will get uh, a gift certificate that you fill out in the store, we will submit that to J.C. Newman. And in the mail, J.C. Newman will send you four cigars, which we don't know the actual retail value, but we're, we're guessing the $25 to $30 range. Again, all you have to do is buy three cigars and fill out this piece of paper. We'll do the rest. Um, so you get these four cigars. You'll get a beer mug. Immediately. For, uh, yeah, sorry, you that's right. Beer mug on we'll the give spot. you the beer mug on the spot, and you will get this fine T-shirt. Burgundy. This is the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is the back. And what your size. This, the, the this is the bottom. Oh, there you go. And uh -huh. you'll get it in the size of your choosing. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Try to continue. I'm still thinking your about the dart. What? You're over the top on this one. I'm folding it up. I wonder if they use that on women. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time to rate our cigar. I need some of that. And we'll start with the lovely Miss T. Oh, Oh, we're talking about it or rating it? Both. Both. I like this cigar. I've always liked the Pearl de Mar from, since the first time we had it. I thought I liked, I liked it the first time, and I think, like you said, it got better. I so told you I, you yeah, like it. it got a lot better. So I like it a lot now this time. Um, the draw again is is impeccable. Like I said, you don't have to, you know, draw so hard. Um, I love a box press. Everybody knows that. And I think the Ecuadorian Connecticut is giving it that um, 
now tell me if I'm wrong, but giving it that little bit of spice that I think it needed. Because I think if it had all Nicaraguan, I don't think it would have that, Mouth that it nice spice. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm wrong? afraid to tell you, Ecuador and Connecticut is the one Ecuador tobacco that's not spicy well, at all. I thought it was. Okay, I'm wrong. So maybe it's the wood. <laughs> okay, Rob, follow that. How? <laughs> <laughs> Try. Okay. You're a professional. Act it. Uh, You're an actor. <laughs> my God. Act. I really like this cigar a lot. I didn't think I would... Um, there's that word again. <laughs> Spelled differently, though, T. I, I didn't think I'd like the cigars as much as I do. Every time I see it, I pass it in the humidor. I, I pass it up. Um, but I, I, I'm, I should be picking it up. It's a very good cigar. I like it a lot. The draw is, is really is. good on this. Um, you don't see too many box-pressed yeah. uh, Connecticut's. No. This is, this is yeah. one of them. Well, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. You know, that's very true. Uh, that's very true. Yeah. yeah. And I, I like uh, Ecuadorian Connecticut wrappers, so. Scott? I traditionally am not a huge, huge fan of Ecuadorian Connecticut wrappers, mm -hmm. but like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Rob. I've been walking by this cigar. I am not gonna do that anymore. Yeah. There I mean, go. I have had it before, but I, this is fantastic. I yeah. mean, this is really good, and it is true to the description with it the is. caramel, the spice. Um, again, I think it's a, a black pepper. It's like a really sweet mm -hmm. flavor. Great aroma. Um, perfect draw. This this cigar is. Fantastic. Yeah. It actually doesn't really smell. Paul? I find it incredibly satisfying. For a mild cigar, mm -hmm. it's really just very sad. It, it fulfills what a cigar is supposed to do. Yeah, when they talk about a, a great cigar in the morning with a cup of, you know, this coffee with cream, right. this is perfect. <coughs> perfect. Yeah, yeah. You know what they absolutely should, perfect. You know what they should do? They, they someone needs to make a cigar that's in, like, addictive to, like, foreplay. Not... Like you know, like it starts off. I think you should off, stop talking. It, now. She did it say starts that. off. Tell me she starts didn't off. Say that. I said that. that. <laughs> say that word. That's in the dictionary. It starts. <laughs> oh, okay. It starts off, <laughs> I can think of where, a few where, others. That where are cigar? Yeah. I can we say that word. Them. Where cigar starts off, you know, slow and and nice, and then it just picks up a little bit and gets, you know, a little bit spicier and. Meteor and yeah, I uh, like. Four I need a cigar like that. Somebody make me that a cigar like that. Thank you. That's a good number on it. This is going to be the longest with bleep the, I've ever. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It is bleep. not. Um, Half hour. With the pot, with the with the price point, I'm giving it a eight point five. Rob. Oh, I don't want to do that. Eight five. Right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going with nine. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I, I love this cigar right, right now. Right. Eight seven five. I'm really you happy. I'll go eight seven five too. A lot of it also, you know, I t also, as you know, take into consideration the price. And again, this is hard to beat. Fantastic. It. Hard to beat. It, it. is fantastic. Really like it this is. cigar. It's a very good cigar. And well, it's satisfying. These half hours go by so fast. Uh, we want to thank Bobby Newman for being thank on you, the Bobby. show. Thank Thanks, you, Bobby. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, say hello to Eric from us. Hi, Eric. And uh, it's time to say goodbye, guys. Start with me. Hi, Mom. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. I thought about How it. How can you almost get it blew on? it. Smoke often, smoke happy, and if you're smart, smoke these. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Bye-bye for now. Smoke sweet. Remember, cigars are fun and satisfying. Ciao for now, everybody. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> and thank you very, very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Woody. Wood. <laughs> Woody. Bye. <laughs>